so today we are going to discuss the basic manufacturing setup what do you require in manufacturing point of view considering bills of material and work in process we have bills of materials which is cost module costing module cost management you can say a finished good which is getting manufactured should have a cost what is the cost of finished good that has been manufactured the cost of the finished good system is calculating based on the raw materials we consumed as a part of discrete job completion then what not only material but also what are the resources you consumed raw materials you might have consumed sub assemblies you might have consumed components which are again we can call it as raw materials which have been consumed all all these items raw materials sub assemblies components apart from that what are the resources that's what very important resource means a labor a worker a welder or electrician or technician machine lathe machine which works for hours not only lathe machine but also labor worker who works on the lathe machine both hours to be considered and there is a charge worker takes the salary if he works for one hour how much we have to charge that is also very important for machinery you bought the machine for millions of dollars you know by spending millions of dollars in a manufacturing plant you will be having different machinery and each machine costing around thousands of dollars and all together across the plant across the organization what is the expense that you incurred by buying the machinery the machinery you bought it for millions of dollars so there is a depreciation depreciation, depreciation for every machinery because machinery is an asset when you are using the machine then definitely there is a depreciation after running for certain years that machine becomes scrap that means by spending some time by running the machinery for hours we have to charge per hour how much can we charge from the customer by selling the item so if you derive the cost of the item by considering the expenses that you spent in the form, in the form of machinery worker what salary you are going to pay and that is also cost to the company we have to incur to the finished goods so that you can get a you can get the effective cost of the finished good so that based on that we can decide the selling price which will have the profit will be added to the cost of the item then that's going to be price of the item price is with profit cost is without profit so in this process we should know what are the different cost elements as a part of a finished good cost if you call one finished good which is nothing but an item inventory item that item will be having different cost elements like resource cost material cost overhead cost variance cost what is the cost material variance what is the resource variance what is variance variance in the sense the name itself is indicating whatever it may be that is deviating from the standard and what deviation and what is the value of that deviation to be captured in the variation in the variance that's what normally you are supposed to consume four tires to manufacture one car but you expensed but you used six cars that means variance is two tires what is the value of variance two tires each tire might be having some cost that cost multiplied by how much is the quantity two tires two multiplied by the cost of each tire that is nothing but variance value where it goes it goes to material variance similarly you are supposed to consume 2 hours of technician who can work on 
manufacturing the work on manufacturing a car but you spend four hours you are supposed to consume two hours of the worker but the same worker work for four hours to manufacture one car that means instead of instead of two hours for for one hour if you if you charge for if you charge hundred dollars for two hours two hundred dollars but actually to manufacture one car you consumed four hours means what you are supposed to consume two hundred dollars of expense but you consumed four hundred dollars what is the variance here resource variance is going to resource variance account with a value of two hundred dollars that's what we are going to see if you go to let us go to WIP if you go to WIP work in process when you go to work in process in the working process we have setups in which we have WIP accounting classes it's very important concept as a part of manufacturing this is what is going to take care the finance part accounting part of manufacturing so let us see what is finance part in WIP transactions okay let us see when you open accounting class if I take one organization then when you go for so these are the accounting classes let us see we discussed already like let me open the file if you open this file yesterday we created some discrete job the job is this let us see what happened to this job when you go for discrete when you open the discrete job find the job this is the job but have you seen the class is str type is standard we already discussed what is non standard this released and str is the class now let us copy this now when you go for accounting class let us query this is the class when you go for this class there is a material account overhead account resource account resource variance account outside processing outside processing variance account overhead overhead variance account standard cost now standard cost now let us see you have all these accounts means it's very important it's not only one class let us say for normally whenever you are making an item to inventorize in the finished goods sub inventory and later based on the customer order we are going to ship the item to the customer which is called as actual production when you go for actual production you might have consumed the material just a minute now for every manufacturing we are consuming the material and what is the material you consumed what is the cost of that material that should be captured in this account then you are supposed to consume four tires but you consumed six tires that two extra tires worth of two extra tires that is two multiplied by the each cost of the item that should go to this account variance account means the deviance like deviation that is apart from the standard what was the deviation that should go to variance account similarly we have material overhead what is material overhead when it, there is a material overhead 
What is metal overhead? Let us say these tires you would require to manufacture a car. These tires you bought the you bought it from MRF or Michelin, JK tires, Goodyear. We have different manufacturers. Now let us say you have bought some hundreds tires, some hundred tri tires. When you bought it, means we have to rise purchase order with MRF as a supply or JK tires as a supply, Goodyear as a supply. We have all these suppliers. There is a purchase order. You will be rising and sending to the supplier. When you send the purchase order to supply, supplier supplies the goods. When supplier supplies the goods, you are going to receive it. The manufacturing company which receives all these items through supply, then you are going to keep those raw materials, 100 tires into your store. When you are receiving, supplier is sending through some transportation. Supplier is charging for the transportation which has been provided to bring these under tires from the company, from the supplier side to our manufacturing plant. That means we bought it by raising a purchase order. What is the price of each item? Let us say each tire is $200. Each tire is two hundred dollars. Then hundred hundred tires. So definitely twenty thousand dollars. So when there is twenty thousand dollars worth of material as being sent by the supplier, supplier should provide the transportation. Either supplier or you have to provide the transportation vehicle. Let us say you are sub, you are supplying the transportation vehicle. When transportation vehicle has been provided by you to bring the items from supplier site to your manufacturing site, that means you have the expense in the form of fuel, that is gas, we call it as petrol or diesel, whatever it may be. Not only that, there is a driver. Not only that, there are some challenges, means toll gates. We are coming through some say one, one city to another city. Our manufacturing plant existing in one city. Supplier is having at site is at another city. Then definitely we have to we should have a transportation. When you are having transportation, there is an expense. There is an expense in the form of fuel, driver charge, our vehicle depreciation and toll gates whatever it may be all together when item reaches to your manufacturing site what is the worth of your expense in the form of freight or transportation that is called overhead resource we discussed every worker is a resource every machine is a resource machine works for these many hours then what is the cost of that particular one hour what is the price for that that will be calculated based on the depreciation and what is the value what is the price of that particular item machine similarly what is the salary of the worker we divided by so we will decide what is the hourly basis charge based on that we are supposed to consume two hours of resource for one hour how much you are charging hundred dollars okay then $200. Instead, you are using 4 hours, then the 200 extra will go to the resource variance. This one. Similarly, we have outside processing. What is outside processing? Yesterday, we discussed while defining the bomb. There is charge type, supply type. There is supply type and charge type. 
double apmo charge type what is double apmo the moment you complete that operation what are the materials consumed at that particular operation to be charged to be depleted immediately double apmo charge type assembly pull when you are getting the finished good item into the sub inventory means the quantity has been increased into the inventory that means what are the raw materials to make that finished good item and those many raw materials to be depleted from the inventory so the the action the moment the finished good values are increased quantities are increased at the same time what are the raw materials or sub assemblies or components to be used to manufacture the finished good those many items have been depleted from inventory that that action like increment in the quantity decrement in the quantity of raw materials when it happens it should happen immediately then wip move is it assembly move assembly pull or operation pull if it is operation pull then the moment you complete that operation what are the items that will be that will be pulled that will be depleted and cost it wip move when you are moving from one operation to another operation operation pull when you are moving from one operation to another operation more transactions will be having value importance assembly pull of course you might have completed one operation to another operation you have completed 10 to 20 20 to 50 50 to 90 means you have completed all these operations it doesn't matter so we have all these operations to be completed whenever you are completing all those operations operation pull means the moment you complete that operation the items required at that particular operation will be pulled from the inventory and consumed in the WIP job that will go to materials WIP materials outside processing outside processing the name itself is indicating outside processing when it is outside processing let us take one particular job whereas the job is having some 10 operations to be completed in order to get the finished good 10 operations to be completed in order to complete the finished good when you have 10 operations we have to you have to start with first operation then move to second third fourth fifth that's what we call it as 10th operation 20th operation 30th operation we have 100 operations 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 these many operations we have let us see car manufacturing in which we have coating some scratch got coatings we have different services we have different garages different workshops which will provide scratch free or paint god we have they use it to spend thousands of dollars on that for expensive cars right but no showroom provides that means that showroom guy if customer requires the scratch god or paint god then definitely the showroom guy should get it in order to get it he has to approach to another vendor another supplier a third party which provides that service and this item will be sub sent to them and they perform all the services painting or stickering or whatever it may be and then they will get the item back to the inventory from there it will be delivered to the customer means what let us say car is getting manufactured 10 to 20 20 to 30 we have different operation fabrication welding chassis making next wheel alignment fourth one body building next erection next painting that painting we are not doing let us say painting is 60th operation let us say 
when painting is 60th operation and we are not providing then whatever the car that has been finished by the end of 60th operation that has to be sent to outside party so that that party will paint and send back then we complete 70 80 90 100 car is getting completed now that item will be shipped to the customer that means you got the some outside process service to complete the total item so when you use a certain operation external party and and you are paying something in the form of ap invoice because there is a purchase order how do you get the service from third party definitely you should have a people when there is a purchase order then there should be ap invoice account payable invoice what is the worth of that invoice that much value will go to this account that's it when you mention that operation is having outside processing we are not conducting and that has to, that item has to be sent to the supplier so that supplier gets all the services completed and get back to our manufacturing plant then what are the services pivo you raised you have to receive the services so you receive it when you the moment you raise the pivo receipt how much worth that is there pivo will be having price multiplied by the quantity that much worth will go to this account let us say you are supposed to get the worth of the service worth of thousand dollars but he charge due to some reasons twelve hundred dollars then 200 is variation that variation that variance will go to this account outside processing variance similarly overhead when there is a resource you are supposed to consume the resource let us say two hours of resource but you consume four hours then it has to go to two hours resource cost should go to variance that variance will go to here this is what overhead and apart from that any extra overhead that should go to variance and cost standard cost what is standard cost it is the absorption account what are the standard cost that has been derived that has been rolled out in the process of manufacturing when you start from one operation to the final operation you completed one by one operation reach to the final operation and the worth of the item by the end of the final operation there is a cost derived the moment you complete the final completion transaction item quantity is getting increased in the inventory means how much is the worth that has been increased in the inventory how many items have been inventorized for manufacturing one item what is the raw material you would require what is the resource you would require what is the overhead what is the worth of outside processing all together what is the worth that much worth multiplied the quantity you inventorize that much cost is going to inventory material that means debited to inventory material then credited to WIP material account this is what but finally the cost of the item will be derived that cost will be updated and tracked in this particular account similarly if you see let me see f11 not only str is particular class if you control f11 then see for standard we have different accounts that means whenever you are having actual job and you will have certain accounts to be tracked this is how the finance people will be defining different accounts to track material for regular production let us say we are performing reworks means what repair works means what you might have inventorized by manufacturing a product and that has been shipped to the customer through sales order but customer has got some complaint on the item that you have manufactured and that item has to be written back to the company so we received it through rma what is rma it's a written order you might have received rma so receive it then customer returned this item because there is a repair that means we are going to repair again repairing means we have to send back to production after sale guys 
they receive the item and if service is required they have to send back to the production production people until and unless they have the discrete job they won't start the work i told you discrete job is nothing but work order there should be a work order to make use of resources available in the production otherwise they won't work when there is a work order you created can you say that that is an actual production no that is already sold to customer it is expense to you Cons customer is not paying because there is a warranty for manufactured item when there as long as there is a warranty that should be free of ser free service so even though there is a discrete job even though some material has been consumed some labor has worked some machine has worked for certain hours what is the worth of that item what is the worth of that value like two hours you one hour is hundred dollars two hours two hundred dollars machine hundred dollars two hours two hundred dollars four hundred totally and what about the, uh, the worker worker for two hours and for one hour he is charging hundred dollars then again two hundred more six hundred dollars totally and some raw material has been consumed that each raw material you might have purchased from the supplier what is the value of that what is the cost of that that much to be included finally we derive thousand dollars customer is going to pay no it is within warranty so you have to provide at free of cost but ex expense is thousand dollars where it has gone we have to track that means for tracking repair service where we are not going to charge we define repair service you give give a name for repair services then and what are the accounts to be affected you have to give then then what happens once you create these accounting classes when you create discrete job when you create discrete job for the repair work then what happens if you create new work and you are going to create then you are going to change it to non-standard because it's not standard actual production it is repair work so i will go for non-standard then i will select the repair class so here the respective class which has been defined just now in the WIP accounting classes what is the name you have given the moment you select that particular name and those accountings will be affected when you complete this particular job by selecting this particular class then respect to the moment you get the item quantity you will enter here job how many items you are going to repair let us say 100 items so 100 items what is the worth for one item what is the worth thousand dollars for hundred items so around hundred thousand dollars so definitely that much worth should go to certain accounts that is repair accounts so that repair account class you have to select here that is what the importance of WIP accounting class it's very important question I hope you understood now we have WIP parameters it's very important in which we have discrete repetitive costing more transaction material interoperation outside processing scheduling not only this we have mobile serial and other what are the importance of each tab default discrete class just now you defend WAP accounting classes str repair works normal production actual production you might be having maintenance work or free work or free service or warranty warranty services like that you can have n number of accounting classes and the respective accounts linked to those accounting classes and which accounting class to be defaulted you can select one default lot number type no lots it's it's as per the customer requirement if you want loan num lot type to be defaulted then definitely you can select that respond to sales order changes yes you have to always let us say there is a sales order from the customer customer would require 100 items we booked the sales order we informed production there is a customer who would require 100 cars you start manufacturing 100 cars production has started all of a sudden after one week customer called I want only 50 then what about remaining 50 so there should be a change in production schedule also as per the work order as per the sales order so as per the demand then what happens you have to inform the production boss they would there's a requirement of 100 initially based on that we booked but customer has cancelled 50 so only 50 to be produced change that means 
we have to respond to sales order changes then repetitive it's not repetitive manufacturing it's, it's a discrete manufacturing so repetitive manufacturing is different again which would require you know some limitations repetitive repetitive in the sense like the name itself is indicating it's a repetitive manufacturing same kind of works will be repeated in bulk and to be manufactured ours is not repeating repetitive manufacturing it's a discrete manufacturing then you go for costing in the costing we have default completion cost source system option cost types auto completion final auto compute final completion what is auto compute final completion auto compute means system is going to the moment you complete the final transaction what is the final transaction in the manufacturing that is a WIP completion transaction when you complete the transaction that particular time auto compute final completion means what the moment you got the final completion items quantity is getting increased the finished good quantity getting increased in the inventory auto compute means what system has to compute what is the material consumed what is the resource consumed what is the outside processing consumed what is the overhead variance all those things to be calculated and you have to derive the item cost of the finished good by manufacturing that's what auto compute a system will compute what material you consumed in the process of completing the discrete job finally it computes the cost of the item then more transaction it's all talking about more transaction from and to queue run to move scrap reject when you move from 10 to 20 20 to 30 these are all intra operations right you are in queue to complete first operation let us say first operation is 10th operation i want to complete 10th operation that means it is in queue you started 10 but not completed it is in queue we have started it's running and you have not completed that is called run we started that is in the queue then we ran we run for some certain time then completed that is called to move whatever it may be you have to transact from one operation to another operation that's what we call it as move transaction but to move from 10 to 20 there are certain intra operations 10 is operation but within 10 we have intra operation what are those intra operation that is what we call it as q run to move reject scrap when you scrap it i told you what are the materials you consumed what are the sub assembly you got by that operation and you are scrapping means what the material that you used got wasted resource waste how many hours you spent that is wasted over all those wastes what is the worth of that that should be captured somewhere that is the reason require scrap account whenever you are scrapping i want what is the material you consumed against that what is the resource hours we have consumed against that all those things to be scrapped so require scrap account what is the worth of that all those transactions will be going to this account you are completing by one operation to another operation at the same time we have 10 to 100 operations i want to create one tenth operation yes if you enable this its system will create system will allow you to create even though standard bomb bills of material which is suggesting as per the routing 10 to 100 10 20 30 40 50 60 up to 100 but you want one tenth so allow creation of new operations then one ten operation also can be created and included Allow moves over no moves soft flow status. What is soft flow status? Very important question. Soft flow status is nothing but whenever you are going to manufacture an item and you are moving from one operation to another operation. When you are moving from 10 to 20, before reaching to 20, I can put some statuses before coming to 20. I can put some statuses that status to be passed so when you pass it finally you reach to next operation 
if you want better control then you can enable allow moves or over no moves or flow so our flow status means for every operation is it okay yes then only move to next operation is it okay next operation yes it's okay then move on to next operation like that we will have allow moves over no move shop flow statuses then material include component yield very important what is component yield the component yield let us say for example to manufacture car I would require fabrication means there should be iron plate that plate should be cut in a shape and that should be punched so that you will get something through the die you will allow the material or plate to pass through certain die that die will cut that plate into shape then what happens we have provided one particular rectangular sheet having thickness of this much having a length of this much and having a width of this much let us say length is 10 meters and width is 5 meters and thickness is 0.5 centimeter then whenever you are manufacturing as per the fabrication design we can have we have to cut that plate when you cut can you say that 100% plates 100% plate has been used in the process of manufacturing no whatever cut you did the cutting space that has been treated as scrap and the material that has been cut into different shapes will be treated as our required item that means we have used under person plate to produce only 70 percent of required plate that means 25 is the scrap 25 percent is the scrap that's what it is saying include component yield means we have provided actually 100 percent plate but how much you have used 75 means yield is 0.75 if you provide 100 percent of plate you can provide i can use only 0.75 nobody can use 100 percent of the plate there will be scrap you have to cut edges or inside you have some holes you have to cut it so that was the reason we call it as include component e backflush control so what is backflush you know supply sub inventory supply locator lot selection method alternate lot selection method lot verification release backflash allow quantity changes during backflash backflash is automatic transaction should be done by the system the moment you complete the transaction but you can have certain controls so for supply sub inventory i can use this sub inventory then within the sub inventory i told you there is a locator that locator is also this much this is lot selection method manual it is saying lot selection means lpn license so it's a kind of lot means similar kind of items you can group and we can call it as one lot so we have all these options here backflush control backflush is a negative transaction oh, sorry it's a automatic transaction either positive or blank or, or negative then interoperation what interoperation should i enable during while moving from one operation to another operation you have to run all these operations if you want to disable it won't appear while completing one operation to another operation Q run to move scrap and reject then outside processing so I told you outside processing how to approach to supplier when you are approaching to supplier there should be a PO when there is a PO PO can be created from the requisition so requisition should be created at what point of time when we have 10 to 100 operations where 80th operation is outside processing that means what was the item completed till 70 10 to 20 20 30 30 40 
50 60 60 to 70 when you reach 70 70th operation is going to be conducted by the external party that means you have to complete till 60 by the end of 60th operation what is the product you got you send it to supplier supplier perform some work and send back sends back for that i have to i should have po means there should be a requisition when requisition has been approved you can convert to purchase order when purchase order has been prepared then you can raise a receipt by receiving the item when you receive it ship it to the customer or it's up to you we have different scenarios propagate job changes to purchasing manual automatic what is that We have seen sales order link. Yes, whenever you want to sell, I want to, I want to sell certain cars, and whether those cars are available or not, I have to see. Okay, propagate job changes to purchasing. Definitely, I should have. Let us say, sixtieth operation is outside processing, and you raise your purchase order and everything, and there is a change now not in, instead of 10 items i want to go for only five items then that has been reduced like that you have scheduling include resource efficiency include res resource utilization simulation set constraints resource only primary objective primary prime sorry primary objective maximum on time completion whenever you are scheduling a particular job I would see that job has to be completed within the time as per the schedule and what should I do for that so I have to select primary objective is maximum on time completion and use whatever the time you want 15 minutes you want you can do 15 minutes and get it done 45 minutes you want or 3 hours you want finish it and complete it this is how you are going to do that now we have mobile we are now versus not mobile manufacturing it's not required so especially mobile manufacturing means it's small kind of you know we'll be having number of transactions number of transactions within the minutes and we have this mobile manufacturing it's a different it's not required for you serial Default serialization at the start operation. Auto associate serial numbers on the job creation from the interface. Default inter operation step for the fine assembly moves queue. This is what your default. Whenever you create and whenever you want to move from one operation to another operation, by default it is coming as a queue. Why? Because it has been selected is default on draw operation step for assembly moves from 10 to 20 is queue. That is the reason. You have to change it to, to move or run to move then others component atp rule especially available to promise if you have there is an importance for the schedule ship day then definitely you have to work on this and what is the default pick slip grouping rule you have to all these things are as a part of wip parameters and we have apart from that we have profile options what are the profile options we have to set up for manufacturing in WIP I will show you in the documentation we have what are the what are the material I provided we have when you go for WIP there are certain profile options we have to set what are the profile profile options you have to see and you have to make sure all the correct values are correct uh, are selected so when you have for the first one is profile options then we discuss the parameters then accounting classes that's it wap setup when you go for profiles what are the profile options available these are the profile of wap configuration reservation level at what level and user value at user okay at user value but at what level so you have to see uh, is it responsibility level site level user level user level is the topmost level 
wav default job start date no start date you can edit wav job prefix if in case you want to alpha numerical what prefix should be number to be generated automatically right so what number with what number should they start so different different uh, a different discrete job form interactive definition that form is called interactive definition wav job name updatable yes what are the number system i generate i can change it yes wav completion default yes or no what is this when you especially have offset processing at one operation and at that particular operation you are sending the item to outside party then outside party has completed the work and send back the item when you receive that item means pivot receipt has been raised when pivot receipt is there that means you have received services when you receive services that 60th operation should be completed right that is the reason move completion default yes if you keep no it won't complete that's it WIP purchasing by revision yes what is revision purchasing by revision purchase order will be created once and any after approval if you change something at header and lines and that would require reapproval again send back uh, will be uh, going back to respect to user who will approve this is how you have to set up the profile options what else we have similarly we have bills of material profile options we discussed what is the resource how to define how to define the departments how to define the operations how to define the routings how to define the bills of materials that's what we discussed and on top of that we are going to discuss the missing setup that is profile options and bomb parameters what are the things you would require as a part of setup of bomb first one is profile options and there is a document this document is already have given, given to you so keep an eye on this material it's very important for setups so what are the profile options so keep an eye and daily you go through this document at least once this is the profile options you have to select bomb component item sequence increment means 10 20 30 i am talking about right why i am talking 10 20 because it is selected user value increment as 10 in case you give 5 5 10 15 like that you have to why you would require not in a sequence 1 2 3 why you are using 10 20 30 because in future in between 10 to 20 i want to incorporate another operation i can build that operation by putting 15 is the sequence number that is how I have to set up all this. Routing operation sequence increment also 10, 10, 10. Update resource inautomizer. No, always the resource. Our inautomizer is always ours. That's what in the last profile option, bomb our inautomizer is HR. Bomb planning item access. Yes, I have to. All these things we have to set up a band and on top of that we have bomb parameters. And that bomb parameters is as a part of setup go to bills of materials and go to setup and that is parameter if you go to anything and what are the maximum bill levels 15 you can have 10 20 25 bill levels means at each level what are the items you would require and what product you are getting by the completion of that operation and next operation before you start what else you would require so, so there are certain as per the engineering bomb and there are certain levels to manufacture any item at first stage what are the materials you would have second stage at what like that you have different stages in the form of operations and you have to select what is the maximum bill levels configuration operation what is what is configuration do you know what is configuration have you ever gone to ice cream parlor baskin robbins is the famous ice cream parlor when you go to ice cream parlor, first you can see all the flowers, all the buckets carrying all the creams, ice creams. Then we have butterscotch, vanilla, strawberry, bl blueberry, raspberry, all these things, right? Then what do you say? I want all the all the flowers. Definitely. You go with a kid to ice cream parlor then he will ask that one this one and, and everything i want he says i want cone 
somebody says i want cup and somebody says some word a kind of you know different shapes now as per your requirement you are configuring so as per your requirement the vendor where you have gone to baskin robbins ice cream parlor and the child is asking this and that and it should be kept in cone not in the cup and being elder we will you used to take cups it is your choice but that is kid choice as per the choice the vendor has to configure what is configuration he takes cone and fills first and as per the choice of the kid would require strawberry add strawberry and some more butterscotch add then raspberry add it all together elder takes simply vanilla or chocolate or this is my requirement as per the requirement the vendor configures means who's manufacturer that guy is the manufacturer if he is going to have some erp then definitely says that so in the process so configurator is nothing but configuring the item as per the customer requirement if he says something to be changed you have to change it as per customer require ice cream i can say only vanilla ice cream butterscotch ice cream chocolate ice cream but kid says i want a mixture of all these flavors then what do you say and last you would say on top of that i want cashew nuts i want peanuts i want almonds alm i want cherry blossom so what do you say then i have to put it cherry this is what we call it as configurator that means i can say cone as a model cone is a model cup is a model option so we have certain options what are the options all the flavors are options that is the reason have you ever seen what is bomb type the bomb types we have standard planned models option class family product what is family product it is ice cream what is the family ice cream family then what is the model is it a cone model cup model okay what are the options yes i have options what are the options strawberry blueberry raspberry butterscotch then chocolate vanilla we have all these options that is the reason whenever there is a configurator and there are bomb types what are the bomb types very important important question bomb types are these are the options like planned standard option class the model cl models then family product the top most is family product product family you can say if you take car 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 is a product family but if you go to model is it sedan is it suv is it all wheel drive or two wheel drive then option class what are the options is it yellow wheel or normal wheels tubeless how many pistons how many cylinders and interiors what is the deck system is it bose sony pioneer you have all these so these are the when there is a configurator you can customize your vendor product based on the customer requirement but we are not discussing configurator this is the concept of configurator but don't say i don't know configurator it's simple the name itself is indicating configure yourself based on your requirement that guy the manufacturer will manufacture that's it that is what configurator so configuration options these are whenever especially you have the configurator and this that configuration will use all these options inactive status as inactive numbering segments item numbering method as append with sequence we have some other options replace with sequence replace with outer line number user defined it's up to you create lower lower level supply also no it has been selected auto create configuration item only auto create auto creator configuration items and ato items what is ato ato means assemble to order it always says 
available to promise saying that by showing so date the item can be available to ship the item to the customer ship to location similarly we have configuration bomb creation allowed yes if you enable include model option class items in lead time rollups what is lead time rollup i want set an item you pay full amount can i ship immediately no to get ready with that item i have certain certain formalities i have certain requirements to be fulfilled and to get that item finally i would require see these many days that how many days you would require that is called lead time use phantom routings inherit inherit phantom operation sequence what is phantom the phantom is i would say when you want to buy a laptop by going to a shop ask for laptop the vendor brings laptop will you accept it you will not i asked laptop laptop should be there keyboard should be there sorry mouse should be there camera should be there if there is no camera built in the laptop give me a china made laptop china made camera at least laptop should be dell but as the laptop is not having the camera can you provide can you provide me an external camera which is made of made by china because it is cheaper and somebody says i want mouse also laptop is having mouse pad then why do you require mouse i want because it is china made give it to me then what else simply you accept if you provide if he provides mouse camera china made camera and laptop is dell will you pre accept no i would expect a carry bag means laptop bag i want headphones at least give me china made headphones you would request like this right that means even though you are not asking vendor is concerned about your requests the moment you ask laptop you will come with some more items saying that these are free items that means along with the main item something else to come immediately along with the main item how it is coming this is what we call it as phantom routing phantom routing means phantom item is means along with the main item what items because vendor is giving without asking that's it that is phantom item if you mention that routing for as per you know normally you are going to define a routing routing means what you define resource first define departments assign resource to departments define operations and in those operations what are the resources you have to consume consume it then routing means item item sequence operation sequence to be completed then reach to bomb and as per the bomb as per the design you are going to have a discrete job and complete operation to operation finally you reach to final operation then get the finished good into the inventory now if you have phantom item that means you want to include those items also in the cost roll up it's up to you if it is china made free if something else i want to include include it then this say actually 1000 dollars but as i am providing these phantom items i want to include some more i may charge 1050 dollars the 50 is extra inherit means by default phantom items should be provided inherit let us inherit the phantom sequence also in the job so that whenever we provide laptop along with that you have phantom items as a kit this is what bills of material over how setup is done our setup for the manufacturing bills of material and working process this is what we have seen the transactions we have seen all the procedure and what are the different steps involved in the completion of the job and at what stage we are getting the product into the inventory and what are the different operations what are the different supply types 
what are the charge types pivo move pivo receipt wap move these are charge types supply type assembly pull operation pull manual we have to remember all this very important the difference between these this is very important and we have profile options you have to remember bomb parameters accounting classes double ap parameters you have to remember that's it this is what manufacturing you have any questions